Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a very warm welcome to this video. Today we are looking at On One Resize AI 2026. So what is On One Resize AI? Well, Resize AI is a standalone photo enlargement and image upscaler for PC and Mac. As a standalone application, you can use On One Resize AI independently of your favorite photo editor or as a plugin for photo editors such as Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. A single On One Resize AI license will cost you a one-time payment of 99 US dollars for a lifetime license. You can also acquire Resize AI as part of On One Photo Raw. However, at this time, Photo Raw is equipped with the much older and much less effective Resize 2023. So what exactly does On One Resize AI do? Well, Resize AI is an AI-powered image upscaler that you can use to enlarge your digital photographs. Unlike traditional photo enlargement functions that blindly turn one pixel into many, Resize AI uses artificial intelligence to anticipate and insert additional detail into your upscaled file. As a result, photos enlarged with Resize AI are not only larger, but potentially more detail than the smaller original. Therefore, you might use Resize AI to enlarge photos taken with older, low-resolution cameras or to upscale an already large image to create a truly gigantic print. Regarding printing, On One Resize AI comes equipped with hundreds of presets, each of which is optimized for different printers and paper qualities. You can use Resize AI's crop tool to recompose your photo, exploit its excellent focus correcting sharpening tools, and even add a little film grain. Resize AI also offers a tiling feature, which enables you to split a single image into as many parts as you like, ideal for creative prints and carousels on Instagram. Meanwhile, you can use the gallery wrap feature to prepare your image to be printed onto a canvas frame. So who is On One Resize AI for? Well, Resize AI is suitable for anyone looking to enlarge their collection of smaller photos or turn a large image into a large print. Compared to upscaling alternatives such as Gigapixel, Resize AI's print-friendly feature set is incredibly appealing, particularly the tiling and gallery wrap features, as well as the ability to use and create presets. If you would like to try On One Resize AI for free, you can. And to that end, there is a link in the description below. So what is new in On One Resize AI 2026? Well, Resize AI features a vastly improved AI upscaling models, delivering superior results compared to the previous version, On One Resize 2023. Specifically, you can choose between a lightweight AI model for faster but worse results or a slower model that prioritizes image quality. You can also specify whether your photo is of a standard or a high standard of image quality and Resize AI will react accordingly. Otherwise, Resize AI 2026 is similar to its 2023 predecessor. But since the improvements to image quality are so vast, I consider Resize AI 2026 an essential upgrade. If you would like to upgrade to On One Resize AI, there is a link in the description below. So is On One Resize AI any good? Well, this is how I test upscalers. So I begin with a reference image and then shrink it fourfold to create a one quarter size copy. Next, I upscale the one quarter size copy by 400% thus restoring the copy to its original dimensions. Finally, together, we will compare the upscaled image with the identically sized reference image to see how fearful the upscale copy really is. So On One Resize's new AI models place it into the top tier of AI upscalers by vastly outperforming mid-tier alternatives such as Lightroom's Super Resolution, Luminar Neo's Upscale AI, and ACDC's own Super Resolution. However, both Topaz, Photo AI, and Gigapixel continue to give Resize AI a hard time. This is particularly apparent in my portrait test where Gigapixel and Photo AI's lighter touch produces a more natural looking result. In contrast, Resize AI's output was comparatively harsh, though I was able to soften the results using the face recovery feature. 
my Lighthouse photo has proven to be very difficult to upscale. While Resize AI's effort is better than many, it still falls well short of the original image and photo AI and gigapixels output. Finally, I wanted to find out how Resize AI handled a poor quality noise ridden image and the results were stunning. Specifically, Resize AI delivered an image that was not only much larger, but also cleaner and sharper than the original. Moreover, the result was vastly superior to that of Gigapixel 8 and comparable to Topaz Photo AI, an all-in-one image enhancing application that costs twice as much. Overall, On One Resize AI is comparable to the best upscalers. In some cases, it will fall short of Gigapixel and Photo AI, and at other times, it may exceed them both. Therefore, I strongly recommend you test Resize AI for yourself using your own files and your own computer. And let me remind you to that end that there is a link to your free trial in the description below. So is On One Resize AI good for beginners? Well, its interface is concise, straightforward to use, and easy to become acquainted with. Moreover, it's hugely responsive, its render times are quick, even when using its slower, high-quality AI upscaling models. While I wish Resize AI included a one-click automatic mode, this can be mitigated by using and creating presets. Meanwhile, applying your enhancements to an image is a breeze. Overall, On One Resize AI is a delight to use. So what are the alternatives to On One Resize AI? Well, the most compelling alternative to Resize AI is of course Gigapixel. When it comes to common upscaling, both are similarly excellent, though one will be better than the other depending on the photo. For instance, Gigapixel did a better job upscaling my portrait and lighthouse photos, but Resize AI did better when it came to enlarging my bellbird and my first seal images. Image quality aside, On One Resize AI offers print-friendly features such as tiling and gallery wrap, whereas Gigapixel does not. However, Gigapixel offers intermittently effective generative AI features such as Recover and Redefine, which can produce excellent results sometimes, so long as you're willing to wait an age for a local render or pay additional costs to render it in Topaz's cloud. In terms of upscaling, I still consider Photo AI the most flexible. Specifically, Topaz Photo AI can upscale, denoise, deblur simultaneously. However, Resize AI came extremely close while costing half as much. If you are already using Lightroom, On One Resize AI represents a significant upgrade over Adobe's Super Resolution, but you can use Resize AI as a plugin for Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. So to conclude, is On One Resize AI worth it? Well, Resize AI 2026 is a top tier upscaler that vastly exceeds its predecessor, Resize 2023, and its rivals such as Lightroom Super Resolution, Luminar Upscale AI, and ACDC Super Resolution. However, Gigapixel and Photo AI can still outperform Resize AI when it comes to upscaling some images. Equally, Resize AI can outperform Gigapixel. For example, Resize AI left Gigapixel in its wake and came remarkably close to exceeding Photo AI when upscaling my noise ridden image of a bellbird. Therefore, when choosing between Resize AI, Gigapixel, and Photo AI, you might consider factors like price and feature set. For instance, Resize AI costs the same as Gigapixel and half as much as Photo AI. You may also prefer Resize AI's array of print-friendly features such as its presets, tiling, and gallery wrap tools. Yet those of you interested in generative AI, flawed as it may be, might prefer Gigapixel. Regardless, On One Resize AI 2026 is an excellent upscaler that combines top tier results with a print friendly feature set and wraps it all up in a responsive and easy to use interface. Therefore, I strongly recommend you give it a go. And remember, there is a link to your free On One Resize AI trial in the description below. Now, at this point of the video, I'd like to remind you that I am indeed an On One affiliate, but I am also affiliated with ACDC, Lightroom, 
to pass gigapixel and so forth. So I really don't mind which of them that you buy. In fact, I strongly recommend that you try any or all for yourself. And remember, there are links in the description below for you to do that. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment, thumbs up, you know the drill. You can even leave a super thanks. If you'd like to know more about On One Resize or indeed any other photography software, do drop by Silent Peak Photo. Here you will find reviews and best of comparisons, along with a storefront projecting the latest prices, free trials and promo codes. I do hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Richard from Silent Peak and I do hope you have a very great day. Bye bye.